Okay, today I'm going to tell you and show you how to stop organizing your notes. Hopefully the audio for this video turns out okay. I am camping next to a river currently. Uh, and I guess this video is also going to be a little bit about why you should stop organizing your notes. I'll talk about that in the intro. And then I'm actually going to show you these techniques in uh, my own notes here. So first, let me talk a little bit about um, just, you know, why you should stop organizing your notes, I guess. Uh, the main reason is that manual organization just adds friction to your note taking. So if you have to stop and think about where something goes, how you should write it, what phrase you should use, uh, maybe even what phrase you did use when you're looking up something new. I mean, all of this stuff, you are just adding friction and friction's bad because you are going to capture less information and you're going to find less of it when you need to capture or when you, when you need to recall it later. So I think productivity tools have kind of lost the plot here. People have started spending more time organizing their notes than actually using them or writing their notes. And that's not good. And there's just really not much point in putting that much energy into your note taking organization these days because the recall tools around search and whatnot are so good. So you can basically just recklessly capture information and pretty easily find it. So um, let's start diving into actually how to take notes without having to organize them in a way that you're getting all those benefits without any downsides. So the easiest way to get probably 80 to 90% of the benefit is just to start using a new note for each day. And here you can record everything, and I mean record information, and also record audio notes if you like to record audio notes. But uh, if I go to my daily note here, I have a note for today, I have a note for tomorrow, and a note for every day going forward into the future. So that means that I have a home base to work out of. And I think we really never should have moved away from this, because if you think about when we were using traditional notebooks and you have a literal blank page, you would typically just create a new page for each day. And that's actually pretty in line with how our brain works because we kind of, we don't fully reset every day. We of course still have all of our memories, all of our thoughts, but we do sort of break our lives into new days in between our sleep. So when you open up a new day, it's kind of like opening a new page in a notebook. And of course you can still call on previous notes and you should be calling on previous notes, uh, not, not acting like you have like a memory loss issue or something. Um, but you should, should still have a home base for each day to work out of. And then you can look back on that day. You can look forward to future days. And then from there, you can just link out and we're going to talk about that later. So it's not like you're trapped within that daily note at all. And then everything you record is automatically connected to time because it's connected to the date. And usually it's connected to space as well, uh, just by nature of the way you're taking notes. So today I, um, you know, and if I go back to my daily note here, um, maybe I can record that I'm camping from the uh, forest in Colorado and then everything else that happens in today is going to be associated with that. So, uh, I mean, this is all fake notes, by the way. I unfortunately don't have Alex with me for lunch out here in the forest. So I'm kind of just making up some examples that I'll go through later here, but um, you kind of get the general idea. And uh, everything you put in your daily note, like I said, you can link out from there. And I'm going to talk about backlinks in a second, uh, but that's kind of what you use to replace folders. And backlinks are much better than folders because they require very little thought, especially once you kind of get used to them. So let me go back and go over some of those examples of what exactly you would put into a daily note. Whoops. Um, so for one, my basic to do, this is the start of my to do list for today. So I just put this under a collapsible list and then I can just check them off as I go. It's really, really nice. Um, you can put in just kind of general thoughts, maybe context about your day or where you are. Uh, you could put in audio notes. So maybe I recorded this as an audio note instead of uh, just typing it manually. And that lets me include more information and more context. Um, and that's done with a microphone uh, right up here. I did actually record that as an audio note. I can record links that I save. If I find an interesting article, maybe on how to do some YouTube keyword research, uh, that's a guide that I might want to go through later. I can save that and it saves it to my notes and just links it out here, it creates a new note for it. And maybe it's ideas. So maybe I have like an article idea, a side project idea, a marketing channel idea. It could be anything. You can record that. Just throw it in your daily note. You don't have to worry about it. Um, you can record what you do in your day. Uh, like maybe I, again, met Alex for lunch. And in this case, I would backlink out to Alex. So uh, I have a note for Alex and I can click on that. And here he is. I can also see all of my incoming backlinks uh, for every time that I've mentioned him in my notes. So 
Uh, all of these things are kind of connected together and it's just thought capture. There's no organization happening here. Um, it kind of looks like there's some organization, but it's really just all up to personal preference. All that matters is that you just capture the information here. Let's talk about some minimalist organization tools. So we actually already talked about backlinks a little bit, but let me kind of go into what that is for anyone that's new. So if I go back to that daily note, Alex here, that is a backlink that leads to the note that I just showed you of him. And in general, you want to backlink anything that is a person, a place, a thing, uh, anything that starts with the capital, any entities or proper nouns is a, usually a good rule of thumb. And a backlink just is association between another note. So this note that I have for Alex, this is just a note with his name as the title and it's got some information about him. But that backlink forms an association in my mind between him, which is this note, and today, where I hypothetically met him for lunch. And that will help you find more associations in the future. So that's one tool you can use for organization. Another tool is tags. And this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. So if you're watching this video and you're saying, hey, this is nonsense, that's more organization. This is completely optional. You can use this if you want. You don't have to. Um, and a good example of this is like, maybe I want to add um, a tag for article idea uh, so that then if I want to, I can click on that and pull up a list of all the notes that contain my article ideas so that I can just go back and see a list of them. But again, totally optional. You don't have to add tags there. I'm just letting you know that if you are the kind of person that wants to add some things in later like that, you can uh, you can go in and do that. That is an option still. This isn't like some uh, hardcore you can't do any functionality pitch. This is just a pitch for you to stop spending time organizing your notes and instead just capture all the information. Okay, let me go back to my note here. Um, what is next? Okay, so let's move on to the last section how to actually resurface the information you need, because this is one of the most common complaints about minimalist systems is these people have these crazy workflows uh, and they're they're just convinced that they need them for their lives. And they don't really realize that they're um, taking away the information, but they also don't realize that you can still find the information without them. So they're not even losing the functionality. So the first thing I'm going to show you is advanced search with filters. So our search on desktop is just in the search box here. So if I click on this, or I could use the command K shortcut. And here I have uh, just a list of my recent notes that have come up. So um, th those will just show the recent ones by default, but I can also start adding some filters in. So I showed you that tag with article draft or article ideas. Maybe I want to use that as a filter here. And then I'm only going to see the notes with my article ideas, kind of similar to when I clicked on that other one. Uh, maybe you want to do just the pinned notes that you, you know, pin to the side. Uh, you can do notes that you've linked to or linked by. You could filter only by your daily notes. So there's a lot of different filters that you can use. Uh, one of the more interesting things, though, for indexing information here, I think, is changing the search type. So you can use the exact search, which means you'd have to use the exact terms or phrases that you use. Or you can use fuzzy, which is similar, uh, or semantic, which is just conceptually related. And that's really nice because if I, you know, maybe I saved this camping location and I know it's somewhere in Colorado, but I don't know uh, where exactly it is. I can kind of just say camping location in Colorado with semantic and it will come up. Um, and then finally, I'll show you, actually, this is going to be later, but since I'm in search, I'm already uh, here. I'm just going to show you. So for, let me just do an example. If I put in this article idea tag, I'm just going to then click chat with my results. And then I can start asking it things and I can chat with those notes that I have filtered. So I can say, what's a recent article idea I had and ask it that. And it will search through those notes um, and give one of them. Oh, I forgot about that one. That was a good one. Okay, so I've gone over those three and then uh, incoming and suggested backlink. So if you're using backlinks and actually I will also include <laughs> and similar notes. So I'm actually going to cover that one first because I see some. So if you see over here on uh, the side here, similar notes, these are going to suggest notes similar to the one that I'm working on. And this helps me find those associations that I might have otherwise missed. So uh, actually, this is a really good one because Reflect Academy, that was another video that I did. So even though I don't mark that this is a core video in any way, it kind of picked that up. 
Um, similarly, I already showed you the incoming backlinks where you can see all the backlinks, but there's also a suggested backlinks fe feature. So let me see if I can trigger it. Um, I'm not sure actually how often it calls. So actually, maybe let me do a better one. Okay, so this one I, oh, yeah, that's another one. Yeah, thank you. I will merge that. <laughs> um, so this is kind of cheating because the word links just appears everywhere. But here you can see all of these suggested backlinks of where I might want to backlink to a link. I'm actually not going to include those because these are all my saved links and these aren't necessarily saved links, but you can see how it'll pull up suggested backlinks and you can decide to accept them or not. But I think the main things here, honestly, are just using the daily note and then just being confident that you're going to be able to use these advanced search features to go back and find the information again. You're not going to have to worry about using these complicated organization systems to be able to go find and index your information again. So. You can build your second brain knowing that you'll be able to access anything you need in it at any moment in time.